Hood Soldiers, ow, 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 and I'm back with another video. Back, she went to your, say that you love me if we talking like that, ah, straight from Rio, she made me wonder how she do it like that. Guys, look at Coco, my baby's getting so big, huh, Coco? She I'm getting so big. She just looks like a little furball. She's gonna cry because she wants out, but I'm not letting her out because she's my child. I'm gonna be doing a little get ready with me. Um, I've been so into makeup lately, so I kind of wanted to just give you guys an update on all of my favorite makeup products. Um, for one, this bag, I literally got it from Amazon. I've been like on the hunt for a good makeup bag for probably like two weeks now. Um, if you're a girl, you know, you know that a makeup bag is like key. I was always getting like the really big boxy ones and honestly they didn't fit in my suitcase because i already overpacked so it was just more overpacking so i got this one off of amazon it's really cool because it's like one that can kind of like maneuver everywhere and i can take stuff out and keep stuff in and then it has like a little pocket for my brushes and like my um like my makeups that are in like a little thick packaging almost if that makes sense some new products because milk actually sent me some stuff so i am going to be reviewing those and i'm going to be answering questions at the same time yesterday i freaking posted it and i got so many good questions like of just like facts that you guys may or may not know about me and i wanted to like do a tiktok of it but i'm instead like let's do a youtube video because why not so i posted it but you guys look like my shit is literally not loading so i'm low-key getting pissed milk literally sent me their grip refreshing spray and i've never even heard of this one before and i literally just went to sephora and i'm like damn they sent me their whole collection maybe i can do like a little talk about that like how influencers i feel like genuinely get so much shit i think that's why i have so much makeup and so much stuff is because i'm always getting constantly like i'm getting new products sent to me which of course it's a blessing like trust me i love it but it's almost like it could be a curse too because i'm like fuck like how do i keep up with what products i just like use on like a daily basis because some people just have like their like exact products if that makes sense you probably have like the same ones that you use like you have your routine kind of down with me i can't get a routine down because i'm always getting stuff sent to me so i'm like always trying out new things don't look at my nails because they're mad across right now you get the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base i got it in like the little travel size because the big one is like 65 dollars like ain't nobody paying 65 dollars for some moisturizer it's not happening i ain't doing it love this like little base typically i go for like the super glowy boom like bomb look i'm gonna go with like a matte look today because milk sent me their pro eclipse mattifying primer so we're gonna see if this one works too i look so ratchet hey you guys i am filming a youtube video right now of doing my makeup and i wanted to answer facts about me but for some reason my story is not letting me see the answers that you guys just did so ugh. Hey you guys, I'm filming a video right now of doing my makeup and I wanted to answer some facts about me that you guys may have not known. So please give me some little questions or whatever because my last story did not save. So let me know. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. Some facts. Ooh, I don't like the way this primer actually smells. My setting spray or whatever before I even put my makeup on and I spray it. I don't know why I just do it. It just makes me feel good and that's why I do it. So yeah. I feel like I lost track of like being um like super vulnerable with you guys and like actually talking to you like about like my life and everything. I just feel like it's kind of turned like I want to get back to where I was like being super vulnerable with you guys and like actually talking to you guys about like certain little things and stuff like that. That's what I'm gonna go back to and if you like that let me know like you can't like forget where you came from if that makes sense you forgot to do her brows why does she always do this i love to do my brows before i put anything like else on tress tress luce beauty it's by becky g i hope that's how you say it correct me if i'm wrong it's definitely tress leche um but this stuff like literally grips my brows trust me i need um a lamination but they make it seem 
Like I don't need a lamination. I'm literally just talking to you guys, I'm sorry. Can we just like give a round of applause for the fact that like Jersey's doing makeup? She used to be so against it. Like she used to literally be like, no, I'm gonna have eyelash extensions for the rest of my life. Like I don't see it any other way. And now I just freaking slay. Makeup has just been so fun to me. Like now I understand why girls will do it every single day because it's just fun. Getting ready, listening to music and doing your makeup is just a vibe, I feel like. I think Anthony just got here. Oh my god! Babe, you can come in here. You can come in here. Alright, so I'm getting to here. Say hello. Guys. Is that for me? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you are so sweet. Mm, I just needed a Pepsi to get. Yo, why is Anthony acting like he likes cocoa? Damn, babe, you smell like outside. Hi, cocoa. Hi, cocoa. Hi. Oh, you guys, this didn't even post, and I was waiting. Oh my gosh. Did you want to start YouTube? You guys, I see this girl at Lifetime all the time. She actually works there. She's just so sweet. Like, she literally always has a smile on her face, always says hi to me, and, you know, like, I do the same thing with her. She's, like, she's just very sweet, and you can tell. Um, she was talking to me yesterday, and she's like, I want to start YouTube. Like, oh, I have a prank idea for you. And I'm like, wow, that's actually, like, a really good prank. Like, we've actually been wanting to do that prank basically and I told her I'm like that's really good or whatever and she's like yeah I really want to start YouTube but I just don't even like know where to begin I'm scared you know that people are gonna make fun of her everyone's like biggest fear when it comes to YouTube is you know that it's not gonna do good or people are gonna be rude to you that like you know which yes of course that does happen I feel like the only reason why I'm telling you guys this story is because I feel like it brings like a lot of to why I did start YouTube because at first I was really scared with starting YouTube as you guys know Justice J Cook um, he was the first one in our family to start YouTube and he's almost at like 1 mil subscribers now he probably started it about like 5 years ago or so you know he went out to LA he was doing it with a group of guys and then did it individually and at this time I was still in school and everything and Jordan was working on his music you know a lot of people would come to me and they would want to like make fun of them or you know like kids around like my school were always kind of rude about it now of course they all listen to his music and they all watch our videos I'm scared to start it because I was probably like a freshman I think it might have been I was going into my freshman year and people like already just did not like me so me like getting a platform and everything I definitely felt like wasn't going to help me but when I truly tell you guys like when I started it and finally just decided to post my first video like it changed everything for me and it was just like the best feeling ever it was definitely hard at first because you know people made fun of me and stuff like that but it was something that like I truly wanted to do and I truly enjoyed doing and I feel like especially once I started realizing how much like it affected other like girls like in a good way obviously not in a bad way but it affected them in a good way to be able to you know ev see everything that I've gone through and me be able to share my stories so that it really like helped you guys know that you're not alone in certain situations. It was kind of like the best feeling ever because I know that's what I would look for when I would go on YouTube and you know watch certain girls and stuff like that to be the one that was you know on the YouTube channel and that was helping other people it made me want to keep going and kind of like actually pursue this as my career because of course at first it was just for fun and I was still in school and you know I was still gonna be working a job eventually like I was planned on it like that's what you do when you turn 16 years old and stuff like that but then once I actually realized okay I can do this as a full-time job it was awesome. Honestly, ever since I have started YouTube, it has made me so confident and it I feel good about how tall am I because I swear everyone when they meet me in person, they're like, oh my gosh, you're so short. And I'm like, I know, like, I know I'm so short. Just a short ass person end up meeting me in person, you will realize how short I am. Any new exciting things you're working on 
that you can share with us um yes i have been working on something that's really freaking exciting um i've mentioned it a few times in my videos already before um but i haven't gotten like too much into detail with it so i guess i could get into detail with it now i am working on my clothing brand um it's not just going to be a merch so it's definitely been taking a lot longer um but it's something that i've like really been trying to learn it's like craft of having a clothing brand and just you know like everything in general of how it all works and down from like the exact logo that i want oh this butterfly is wrong yes it does have something to do with butterflies um and just the whole meaning around flutter uh like there's a very strong meaning on it and i don't know if i want to get too into it it was kind of just like my last drop it had a big meaning into it and so i feel like that's the main thing and there's just like a whole bunch of little details that i'm trying to line up for you guys that i've been working on but trust me it is going to come soon i've been like really patient with it because i don't want to just drop something and you know me not love it or you guys not love it because the whole point is for you guys to love it and for me to love it it's something you know it's something really special and like i said it's not just a a, a merch company um this is a full-on clothing brand and it's gonna be longevity just like how you know mama university is and everything like that so i'm just really excited and i hope you guys can just be patient with me because trust me you guys are going to love it because of course you guys are going to be the ones that um if you guys like it then you like it and if you don't like it then you don't like it you know so i will say it is going to be dropping around like christmas time or so around at least that's like the plan of the drop date so far it's like we definitely want it to be coming around christmas time and in the winter because that's more of what the clothing is is in the winter some like basics that you guys wear in the winter like what are like your necessities like what do you love to wear and um do you guys still wear dresses in the winter have any ideas of like what you guys want me to make for flutter let me know because of course i want to cater to you guys and i want it to be something that i love too but of course something that you guys also genuinely love do you have any hidden talents i feel like i don't have any hidden talents um no, i did play soccer throughout high school i was on varsity my freshman year of high school and my sophomore year of high school yeah because it was like sophomore mid sophomore year so my freshman year and my sophomore year i was on varsity soccer um and i had a really good kick I am a really good kicker, but unfortunately, I once I left school, I didn't continue playing soccer, and I basically grew up doing soccer my whole life. Like, my whole family has been in sports and everything. It's just been, like, the main thing that we do. So we've all, like, literally grown up with that, basically. That could be my hidden talent, but other than that, I really don't have any other hidden talents. Comment down below what your hidden talents are. That's what I want to know. Oh, this is a good question. How did LA make you a better person? Well, I did go to LA. I was in a content house for um, about a month or so because I had some friends who were already in the house. He offered me to be in the house for free living in LA and I was so down with it. Like I was so excited. A lot of like influencer friends out there and of course I still keep in contact with them um jackie as you guys know she's literally like one of the realest girls i have ever met and it's kind of like we don't talk every single day but we still like have each other's backs you know like you have those friends where it's like that like i have a few friends at home that are like that and even though we don't talk every single day we still are like tight with each other in la i was struggling like a lot like from what you guys probably like didn't see but like behind the scenes like la really was not good for me i was partying a lot i was you know doing stuff at i was at that time i wasn't even 18 yet i was 17 
So I was like doing stuff at 17, like that normal 17 year olds do, but it was just happening really, really fast. And also too, I was in a house full of all guys. I didn't have any girls that were there unless I brought them over. And like, you know, they stayed with me and stuff like that. Um, but I definitely think LA made me like a better person for sure. Definitely not when I was there in the timing, but it made me realize a lot about people and like about how like the influencer world could be miss my family so much like if you guys know now like me and my family are so tight like we all hang out with each other look at my blush hold on it's really really far like i was not talking to my family as much as like i should have been um i just feel like i wasn't doing the stuff that i needed to be doing but it was definitely like a lesson learned like i'm happy that i did that throughout my period like my life because it showed me, like I said, a lot about stuff and just like certain things. I realized that like I didn't need to be in LA to do my job, which was the best thing because I feel like in this industry, like of what I do, like everyone thinks you need to go to LA because that's going to help you get where you need to get. And I feel like yes, in certain things, like as far as events and stuff like that, it is cool to be out there because I haven't been to any of any events unless I'm out in LA. So I definitely think like in that whole aspect, like if you're living there and that's like the lifestyle you want to live, then that's awesome. But um, for me, it's just best for me to be home, at least as of right now. Like, you know, like I'm still doing my shit and I'm like watching everyone from a distance, which I love. And I feel like everyone is watching me from a distance too, which is like, it's good. Like it just helped me grow as a person like I just grew up basically like I feel like I grew from that situation and that's the best thing my card was full so I'm actually gonna finish the rest of my makeup I have to do my mascara and my lips and um, then I'm gonna get back on roll a little montage of me doing everything hey Google play Apple music alright y'all I'm done with my makeup I added my mascara and I added some false lashes because I have been obsessed with like, I've been obsessed with like just putting them on the ends lately. So freaking cute. The finished look. Don't really know how too much I feel about my eyeliner. It was my first time doing it. But I feel like with the lashes, it all like came out really good. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that with questions and everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want a more in-depth of literally sitting down and just answering facts about me. Because you guys did give me some good questions that I didn't get to get to. So yeah, let me know if you guys want that. Or comment down below if you guys want to know of any of the products that I use. And I will answer you guys in the comments. And I love you guys so much. Comment down video ideas, of course. Every single time I'm going to say this in my video because I want to know what you guys want to see. And I love you guys. And bye. I love you, Dark Girl.